Have you ever noticed how cluttered spaces often belong to those who've endured abuse? There's a lot more to it than you might think. Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a topic that's not often talked about, the connection between trauma and clutter. By the end of this video, you'll have a better understanding of why abuse survivors might struggle with keeping their living spaces organized and what can be done to help. Visit minibarker.com for more information. First, let's explore the hidden connections between trauma and clutter. Trauma, especially from abuse, can disrupt a person's ability to make decisions and prioritize tasks. The clutter you see isn't just about physical mess, it's often a reflection of a chaotic internal state. Survivors might feel overwhelmed by the simple thought of organizing their space. Their minds are so consumed with processing past trauma that everyday tasks like cleaning and organizing can feel insurmountable. Next, let's talk about mental and emotional exhaustion. Survivors of abuse often experience chronic stress and fatigue. This exhaustion can severely impact their daily routines, making it hard to find the energy to tidy up. When you're mentally drained, maintaining an organized space becomes a low priority. It's not about laziness, it's about survival. Their energy is often spent just getting through the day leaving little to no capacity for household chores. Now let's get into some practical tips for survivors to reclaim their space and find peace. Tip one, start small, tackle one small area at a time. It could be a drawer or a corner of a room, small victories build momentum. Tip two, set a timer, dedicate just 10 to 15 minutes a day to decluttering. This makes the task feel more manageable and less overwhelming. Tip three, seek support. Whether it's from friends, family, or professional organizers, don't be afraid to ask for help. Sometimes a little support can make a big difference. Tip four, create a safe space. Designate one area in your home as a clutter-free zone where you can relax and feel at peace. Tip five, be kind to yourself. Remember, it's okay to take your time. Healing is a journey, and so is reclaiming your space. Understanding these underlying issues is the first step toward empathy and support. Whether you're an abuse survivor or know someone who is, I hope these insights and tips can help. Remember, you're not alone, and there are ways to find peace in your surroundings. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. Take care and see you next time.